Hello and welcome back to the Butterfly Dam Park, which is anything but a true park because we only got our first three rides and some basic facilities in here. Yet that's enough for 126 guests, apparently. So yeah, we're doing quite well and we need to because this is, well most likely, it will be the most difficult park that we have played up till so far. At least, well I know with the terrain and the goals set to us, this is gonna be damn difficult. And uh, yeah, look at this one. Huh? <laughs> Pure construction nightmare right here for you. Another thing that we kind of forgot to do, by the way, uh, last time, is um, to check whether or not there is some of this, well, <laughs> semi-flat land up for grabs. So why don't we do that right now? No land over there. Let's just zoom out a bit. Dang it, no land. Uh, construction rides, maybe? No, <laughs> that's not looking good at all. Alright, so we've got to do pretty much with the land that we got. And <laughs> that's not a whole lot really, because this section of the lake here is like mostly inaccessible. Till we have wads of cash to spend. And even then, it's gonna be, you know, well, not really where we want to be uh, building on top of. So, yeah, this is bad. However, well, what we could do, say we run out of space, what we could do is uh, that we start building underground. I mean, if you take a look at that. Yeah, look at that. I mean, high 25. That is really, really high. So, if we were to run out of space, what we could do is just start building stuff that's completely underground. So, right, nice. Nice to have a plan for the future. Uh, however, <laughs> that's like for the long term stuff. For the like right now term stuff, <laughs> we need to build some rides. And I'm thinking of this boat hire because, well, we might have a droplet of water or two in our park. <laughs> so, yeah. However, the thing is though, you know, I just said, or uh, last video, that well, this boat hire would span the entire lake. Well, the thing that comes to mind is that this one is as well affected by the height to the ground, you know, in terms of construction, squad, construction costs. So, yeah, this, uh, instead of a, an engrossing lake span, Spanning boat hire. We're gonna have like a coast crawler pretty much and uh, we're gonna keep it as short and as shallow as possible. <laughs> so yeah. Ah oh, well. Uh, the guests should still like it, right? So uh, let's build it. And uh, what we're gonna be doing as well is we're just gonna build it below this. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> below this scrambler axe but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't look all that good, uh, if you ask me. <laughs> Something might have gone wrong with the construction of all this. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a shenanigan. <laughs> hey, co uh, Scrambler Eggs, or whatever I named you, Styrashulus. Uh You got a roof through your floor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, our roof is groundbreaking, really. Alright. Um, so we need to have this hug the station as close as possible. But we'll keep it somewhat interesting. Oh, <laughs> alright. Um, this is not so good. We kind of need some more cash to even finish this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can you imagine that? We don't even have enough money to finish a boat hire. <laughs> what is that? You know, what has that to say about the rest of the park, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so we're gonna have the entrance over here, I guess. I should be able to go below the path there, so we'll have it over here. And then we'll have this one right there. Hook that up, and um, it should be ready to go, pretty much. So, exit first, of course. That's really important. <coughs> Alright, so, if I... And then... Okay, so that is like the wrong height level, so that is not working either. Come on, game. Alright, this should be the high, right height level. Yeah, it is. Nice. Nice. Wait, look at that. My favorite weather coming up. <laughs> Buy umbrellas. Give me cash. Nice. Alright. 
Time to set up the boat higher, while <laughs> the lake is filling even more. <laughs> I hope the dam will hold it actually. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is pretty much the most lame boat hire that we've built so far. <laughs> but we could barely afford it, so yeah, it is what it is really. <laughs> wow, <laughs> so underwhelming. <laughs> oh, balls. What, really? Game? Only rowing boats and canoes? I mean, we're like halfway through the expansion and this is what we get? Well, I guess we'll have to make do. Yeah, look at that. 11 canoes or 12 rowing boats. You know what? That one boat won't make a difference. So we're going to be going with canoes <laughs> for all the good that it will do. Uh, and we're going to change the colors of this though. How about if we make these black? No, we won't. That's already too much black in there, so how about it if we make those yellow? Well, that doesn't look so shabby, really. I kind of like these white fences. Well, and I guess we shouldn't change canoes into anything other than brown. So, well, you know, I'm going to call this a the coast crawler. Because, well, that's what it is. Well, it's also It also sounds cool, you know, for like, uh, for like a boat hire. So, there we have it. Boat hire added to the books. And then what we need is uh, a few of these down here. As well as a trash can. And uh, let's just take a quick look if it is covered by staff. Oh, it is. Oh, nice. Alrighty. So, well, uh, I consider this section of the park to be pretty much filled up. You know, this whole section. So it is time to expand now and um, well you know here's the thing we're gonna have to expand over here into this area and well let's plan this out a bit so let's get some height markers here this is 17 high so ideally what I kinda want is well you know I mean this is just <laughs> it looks like we're supposed to be building a path down here so we will I mean it's just too obvious to ignore right so we will build a path down here and what I'm thinking of doing is going to this level and then follow the terrain to like the same height as this level and then just bridge the gap so we do get some nice a nice amount of flat path tiles that we can hook stuff up to so, yeah, all right. All right, that's the plan. Um, then, well, this area is going to be like some kind of jungle, mine, dinosaur, lost valley of wilderness. Uh, at least, well, you know, well, that's the general idea of it. So we're going to go with a different path style. And uh, I think that this black tarmac, in combination with like... Uh, uh, wooden supports is kind of meh, so we're gonna go with like these, you know, and then have the black tarmac, and I think this will look pretty good. <laughs> well, I hope, and if not, bad luck for us. So, uh, here it goes. Park expansion, <laughs> right at the start of the second video. How amazing. Alright, so now it's time to follow the terrain till over here. Yes, and... Oh, of course, <laughs> what a surprise, there's trees in the way. Now this should, ah, oh, it does, perfect, alright. So, then, we will get some bare essentials down here, so <laughs> the guests can at least relax and chill down over here. Throw away their trash and whatever else they're carrying. <laughs> well, as long as, long as it's our merchandise, <laughs> so then they can buy new stuff. <laughs> Come on, guess. Throw away your balloons and umbrellas <laughs> and buy new ones. <laughs> no, that would be kind of bad, really. But Alright, so we'll have to get a handy dude over here. And this is pretty much uh, this area covered. So, well, of course, we kind of do need more stuff like toilets and whatever else down here. But I'm going to hold off with that until we got a few rides over here. And I'm thinking right now that because, well, you know, we're really low on cash. And uh, I'm thinking that because this park will be damn expensive in terms of building. Like, really expensive. Wow. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, this is going to be, like, even worse than... Thunder, uh, no, then Lightning Peaks. Oh, that was it. Yeah, it's going to be even worse. So I'm thinking that we should build our 
second coaster now already. Even though we only got like three of the other rides, I still feel like we need a second coaster so that it can make us even more monies. Uh, and I'm thinking that we're gonna put that one over here. I'm gonna hook it up to like this area. Now for that, we don't need more cash, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello there, bank. <laughs> can I have max loan, please? <laughs> oh, balls. Yeah, all right. So we're on max loan now. So, but nine grand should be enough to make like a pretty decent uh, steel mini coaster. Oh yeah. Oh, we're definitely gonna be able to make a decent steel mini coaster with this. Hell yeah. Now I said that you know uh, for the long term future that we could start building on the ground, but if we're gonna be serious about that, then <laughs> I kind of need to keep the hills free of cool underground tracks. So I'm gonna try and keep at least well you know the lower sections free. Well, you know, building a bits and bobs on the ground isn't a bad thing. <laughs> I mean, we kind of do need the ratings too from that. So good. Well then, um. Where are we going to build this? I'm thinking over here. And then station in the ground at that, this height level. And then just have it be really compact above this area. And then maybe make an excursion over here. Fiddle about a bit. Up the ratings of this coaster. And then return to the station. Yeah. Alright, that's the plan. Uh, let's put it into practice. All right? So... I want height markers. Uh, this is height 20, so if we build this over here, we should be good. I want track markers too. Nice. Alright. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Nice. Oh, and another thing, and uh, a viewer came uh, up with this in the comments. Look! This will make for a lot better view when we're building underground stuff. It just removes all the land squares. And uh, if I do this, look, <laughs> then even the vertical walls are gone. This is only for visibility, really, but I thought it was quite neat. So, well, hold on a second. Oh, it even works like this. Nice. Anyway, uh, we don't really need that at the moment. Because, well, you know, but I thought it was nice. I just thought that, uh, you know, I'd show you this because, well, you know, I read all the comments. And uh, even after playing this game for, like, over a year uh, by now, <laughs> I still learned something new. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks whoever uh, mentioned it. Um, kind of forgot your name already. <laughs> I know, really bad, but, wait, crap. Um, but thank you anyway. It is mostly a most welcome all these tips. Really appreciate it. So, with uh, that out of the way, let's see how far we can get with this coaster. Now, high 35 might seem really high, but you've got to remember that we are starting from high 20. Well, then high 38 is again still very high. So, <laughs> let's just have like our first drop in here. And right now, the good thing is that we are already interfering with this coaster here. So, I'm thinking that we should do all the interference that we want to do right now already. Uh, can I go this way? I could. The question is, can I get away from that area? No. Alright, so that's not really a viable option. And what we could do, of course, is just have... Now, what we actually really need is this to be over here. And then... We kind of... What we could do is a helix small down, I guess. No, because there's the crap wheel. <laughs> Balls! Alright. Um... Hmm, that's not good though. <laughs> hmm, how are we going to deal with it? Well, maybe if I don't bang this one. It's not going all that fast at the moment, so... Look at this. Oh yeah, this is going to work. Look at this. And then a helix down small. It works! How nice! Alrighty. Now, is it the trees? Okay, so that... That's an issue. Having... A small bump in here. It's not. Look at this. Look at how nice 
this track design is already. <laughs> and so far, we haven't done anything fancy in terms of, well, you know, these kind of curves and all that stuff. So, I'm really liking it so far. You know, because it's simple and cheap. <laughs> or, well, at least, uh, we should keep it a bit cheap. So. Now then, let's see if we can get out of this mess <laughs> that we're going into at the moment. Yeah, about the mess that we're going into at the moment, huh? How about if I do that one later, though? This seems to be a pretty viable way to go down here. Of course, there is a crap load of trees in the way, but that's... Well, yeah, I'm thinking right now it's this tree. No, this one. Alright, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm thinking that that might not be the... Oh the right way to go for us really because there's also the park border and all that so how about it if we just curve it to over here shouldn't be going all the, that fast at the moment so then we'll go down there's our own roller coaster in the way can I I can have it go like this now this is kind of, this side of the path is kind of where I don't want to go with this coaster, so we will just retreat from over there. Uh, and then and we will go down. And right now I'm thinking that we should go underground with it, do a curve around there, you know, in the underground, and then go back to the station really. So we'll do that. Let's see here. We're at height 70, which is kind of low. I don't really want to go too much lower with this whole coaster. You know, with that, uh, well, eye on the future and all that. But I guess we could get away with this. Now, what I kind of need is a good approach angle. Um, so far, this is not getting me anywhere, really. Yeah, that's certainly not getting me anywhere. So, how about it if I... Yeah, <laughs> um, okay, so this is gonna be a difficult one. I could do, of course. Where does... Oh, you know, you gotta be shitting me. I'm still, like, too off there. Alright, so we'll do, like, a helix up large. Do another one. Oh, and this actually leaves me right at height 20. Yeah, <laughs> totally off really, but fine. Why do I helix up small over here? Right now, I could use with this view, you know? This would be like really nice at the moment. Um, yeah, okay, so this isn't really getting me anywhere either, but maybe... No, it's all not getting me anywhere, really. This is the only real option that I see. However, this is gonna rack up G's like crazy, but <laughs> it'll have to do. However, if the uh, ratings turn out to be too extreme, we will have to tweak and tune this one. Which, of course, I'm more than happy to do. So, there we go. Ah, nice, that fits. Uh, we'll put the exit on the ground, actually, like, uh, I don't know, over there. And then time for a test ride. And while you guys watch that, I will see that this one gets hooked up nice and tidy to the infrastructure. Okay, nice and tidy, I said. With uh, minimal amounts of uh, terraforming. Because terraforming is expensive and we need our monies. Alright, well, but it is required over here, so we'll do this. It's not too bad for a queue, really. I just hope that the final piece is not gonna rack up the ratings that badly that we need to do even more terraforming with it. Wow, <laughs> this makes it totally invisible, though. Yeah, that black time is actually pretty hard to see on the ground. You no, know, uh, I've gone with it now. Can't start replacing it. All right. So how is the G's? Uh, G's. Ooh, 
it's not looking good. And then these are oh, three G's. All right, I'm not having the best of hopes. Yeah, thought as much. Thought as much. Uh, we kind of need to tweak it a little bit, and we, by tweaking, I mean adding some brakes, really. So we'll do that. And um, let's see. Come on, view. Kind of need. Come on, game. I just had the perfect view. Kind of need some breaks, like right there, actually, or right here. Now that, that this could work as well. I feel. No. You know what? We might as well just remove this whole bank over here and just break it beforehand. That wouldn't be such a bad idea, really. Come on, is that breaks? And then we'll just break it to 43. And we'll see how this holds up. Alright, test ride it again. And um, well, I know this time we will set up another handy dude over here. It's also going to need its own fixed mechanic. I've already determined that. <laughs> With my sharp determination. Uh, like this. And you... You're gonna have that area to yourself. The good thing is that we have built the exit pretty close to the back end. So it is highly unlikely that we will see a station brake failure from this. I hope at least. So, now I'm gonna be saying six bucks and that is really a high bet for this one. Uh, we're gonna call this the pressure panic. Yeah, look, this is looking much, much more reasonable at the moment in terms of speeds at which it goes through there. So, right now, the G's shouldn't be, like, completely over the top, if anything. So, looking much... Wait. Looking much better now. Uh, I'm curious to, like, what the ratings will be. And, in fact, with these speeds, we kind of don't even need a safety mechanic there. But we got one now, so I might as well stick with it. Wow, the vertical G's look even worse, though. The lateral G's are a lot better, it seems. Yeah, look at that. Wow. With the pricing, man, I was kind of like spot on here. So we'll open it up straight away. And um, all we have to do now is just name and shame it. And wow, we are so behind in guest numbers. <laughs> yeah, we really need to start cranking that up. Luckily, I got a plan for that. But <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, you know, that this coaster took too long. <laughs> I kind of needed this to be right on the first go. Well, it is what it is, really. I am curious. Six point... Oh, look at that. I got three... Well, you know, point three of an excitement point rating. That's pretty good. I mean, that's going to count for something. Now then, colors of this ride. Uh, let's just close all these windows so we can have a better look at it, right? <laughs> I mean, it was kind of cluttered there, so... We will give this a nice paint job. And it's going to be looking like... Well, uh, how about red on the inside? With um, grayish supports... And then instead of yellow, we go with uh, green. No, 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 not that green. What we could do is this. Or that. Oh, this looks really... <laughs> though it totally doesn't fit with the Roman theming over there. So how about this white look? Yeah, white makes it kind of okay. And then we'll just have to... Yeah, well, we will have the cars be more like... No, <laughs> I went, meant the yellow above it. Yeah. I mean, we also have yellow supports over here, so... <laughs> Not that that is anything related to this coaster, <laughs> alright. Yeah, this is what we will go with. Now then, now that we got this, I think that what we should do is build like... Um, oh, we don't really need a drink store over here, but what we are going to be building is... Um, now, do we have a burger bar? No, we don't. So we're going to be building an ice cream uh, facility over here. Come on. Game, work with me here. We're going to be building an ice cream facility over here. So just so that we have something. 
And then we need to build another thing, like a thrill ride. And I'm thinking about building a tower. Now, for this tower, we are gonna have to do some terraforming. So let's do that first. Um, we're gonna be building it, you know, and hook it up over here. So what I kind of need is for it to be more or less... Right, now we're gonna have it, I think, one level... Now we're gonna have it on the same height level. So all that we really need for that is for it to fit there. And it does! Oh, that's good. Nice. So, alright, well that's good. This is a minimal amount of terraforming that we've got to do. Though, <laughs> this will be expensive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are gonna hook it up over here. Even though this would be really, you know, well, a thing that would be easier. We are still gonna hook it up over here. Because I want to develop it into this section. So. Oh, one thing though <laughs> that I kind of totally forgot <laughs> is that... We might want to change this to a log cabin. Yeah, <laughs> I mean the whole Roman theming doesn't really fit <laughs> into the whole jungle <laughs> that we try to create here. So, yeah, that's much better. All right then. Um, while we're in pause mode, we might as well set this up really quickly. Go with uh, six bucks on this one because we damn need the cash. Let's see here. How about it if we go 78? I don't think that will shoot off just yet, so... We might as well do it like that. And hook it up to our infrastructure. Like so. So, um, yeah, well, I'll just... No fancies, really. I mean, the path is freaking expensive. So it's just gonna be like that. And, um, well, now <laughs> all that's left to do is uh, name it. Oh, and shame it. <laughs> no, not gonna shame it. You know, colors are gonna be sweet. So, how about we're gonna call this... Um, the... Yeah, the Mad Review. <laughs> oh yeah, so clever. <laughs> I totally thought this while I was building the coaster. Totally thought of that. <laughs> but it's cool nonetheless. The Mad Review. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna have uh, a, a bit of mad coloring as well. Ooh, that's really mad. That's bonkers mad. No, 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 not white. We can't have that much white in here. How about... No, I, I think the red gave it a much more vibrant look. Yeah, now it looks a bit like it's glowing <laughs> with a bit of an imagination. This makes it stale and bland. Oh, this makes it look glowing too. Good, good. I want that. I want that glowy look to it. So, this one doesn't really need to be glowing or anything. So, what we could do is go with a bit of a even madder color scheming of this. Oh, this is bonkers mad. Yeah, the mad revu <laughs> with the uh, wacky coloring. I like it. I think it's good. It's gotta be, really, because this has to lure in some guests. Now then, uh, we also need, like, some more merchandise to be able, you know, to be bought in the park. And I'm thinking of uh, balloons. So, we'll have balloons. We'll also have these be blue. Just like the umbrellas, you know. I kind of like balloons. I'm gonna see a lot of them in the park. And there we are. Four grants and we got two coasters. Now, even though this coaster, well, you know, in, I was kind of hoping for a six and a half, but that is, this coaster is quite difficult above the six excitement rating. So in terms of the costs that we had to it, I'm quite happy with it. It just took way too much time. Because right now we're really below in guest count. We kind of need to be at 500 guests at the end of year one to be reasonably sure that we will make it. <laughs> and we are far from that. But fear not, because Tycoon Damage is not going to be giving up that easily. So what we will do now is a bit of gentle ride. In fact, how's the research doing? We, ha wow, we had River Rapids... All kinds of water rides, just no freaking thrill rides. Am I right that we might actually only have water rides? 
River Rapids. Uh, 3D Cinema, Lock Fume. Uh, so that's like the only rides that we really had. Yeah. Ah, balls. Anyway, uh, we're going to be building a gentle ride. No, I'm thinking, you know, because we have music on this one, that I might want to hold off the galooper ride and build it more over here once we're, you know, developing that area. So what we're going to be building is this uh, Haunter Mansion. And it's a shame we can't build it, like, right over here. Otherwise, I would have. But since we can't, we'll build it over here. And we're going to build it on the level of this path. And right next, you know, right behind this balloon stall. So if I get out the height markers. If I just build it, like, right next to it, we should be good, in theory. Of course, I do need to do some land clearing for that. I actually think I might need to build it over here, though. So... We won't have that, because we need to be really economical on space. So we'll build it like this. Oh, balls. <laughs> Alright, so that's not, go that's not gonna happen. Next ride, because <laughs> I need a lower ride, really. Alright, well, screw, screw it. <laughs> We're gonna be going with this one. If this fits below it. It does. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Galopa, right? <laughs> I should have never guessed you, really, I guess. <laughs> so, now, uh, what we also will be doing is... Um, we will also have the queue go like it goes over here. So, it will be just... Well, that's actually way too long for a Galopa, right? But we will do it nonetheless. So, now that and the exit will be... Yeah... It's a bit ballsy, really. No, it will, we will just have it go like that. Now then, we will quickly set this up. Like so. Charge uh, five bucks for this. Then, we will have to splatter some paint on it. <laughs> because that's what we do. <laughs> we don't really, you know, design any paint jobs. We just splatter on it whatever we have left over. Now... I said I want a jungle theming, <laughs> this is just because the name is so amazing. But, because of the jungle theming, how about this? And then this. And this fits in a lot better <laughs> than this does. I mean, it's pink and purple <laughs> and whatever else. But, the rest is gonna be a bit more adequately color, you know? Better themed and all that. So, um, well, we do need a name for this. How about we're gonna call this... Uh, yeah. Leaf me round. Leave me around. <laughs> of beer. <laughs> no, 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 no. Leave me around. I don't know, this is a bit of a, well, atypical capitalization of characters, but it's also a bit of an atypical name than the usual stuff that we go with, so that even makes me like it even more. And, um, well, I know we'll have uh, a queue leading up to it. Oh man, the music interfering though is kind of not so good, but, ah, well, it is what it is. Alright then, this is pretty much the only solution that I really saw over here, so we'll just have to go with that and just take it as it is. So that also means that we are not going to have a no entry sign over there. And we are going to hire a new handyman, because with this ride over here, we might see some extra vomit. Just might say, not saying it's going to happen, but it is a distinct possibility. Right then, um, with that ride, I think that, well, we might have wasted some time with the coaster, but I do think that it is still manageable, though we can't have too many of these shenanigans again. So, well, you know, with that said, I'd say join me next time when we will play some more Roller Coaster Tycoon and, uh, well, be better at our game, I hope. So we'll see you then.